Hello, everyone, and look where I'm at. And welcome to Crazy Country Couponer. You're going to go shopping with the Crazy Country Couponer. Yeah. And, well, you know you want to know what we're going to get. And you know it's going to be good. So go ahead, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Because, well, they like a shopping trip, too. And if you're not a crazy friend or a subscriber, take a moment, hit that subscription button and that notification bell. Because you don't want to miss any of these crazy country couponers, deals, deals, glitches, free stuff, awesome information. Yeah. And a fun time. <laughs> So, come on in. We're going to go and use these coupons that I just found in my car. Yes, it's Friday. We're going to go check out some deals that you guys can add to your scenario for tomorrow and get you an awesome deal. So, let's go see what kind of freebies we can get to help you out for tomorrow. Okay, let's have a look at what we got our buggy. We've got the two secret with the five dollars off. We got the old spice with the two fifty off. We got the tide with the two dollar off. We also have an air wick with a dollar off. That's a dollar sixty five product. We have another two fifty off of air wick starter kit. We got a dollar fifty off of three American greeting cards. We got a dollar off the Scotch Bright cello pad. We got a dollar paper two dollar paper coupon off the Oral B. Two dollar paper coupon off the Crest three D. And we got two of those. We got a dollar off the finish paper coupon. And we've got a $3 off the bounce. And, well, <laughs> let's see. Let's do a quick add. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 dollars. All right, we're looking at 23 dollars in the buggy. Let's go see what we pay for it. Okay, we made it back to the car, guys. Oh, people wanted to chat. I'm telling you. And I messed up. I messed up a totally free transaction, guys, because people wanted to chat. That's why I had to kind of cut the video off, because people walked up and wanted to chat. So, <laughs> I tried to get myself together, because I lost some money, guys. Yes, I did. And, uh, well, you know how I feel about that. But that's all right. We're just going to take the non-coupon items back and regroup and do it again later. That's what we do. <laughs> okay, what did we end up with? You seen what was in the buggy, right, guys? An awesome deal. And so this is my receipt. The first two items are the secret deodorants. And uh, you're looking right at $190 and $5, or, excuse me, $590. And uh, $5 came off. $0.90 cent for two secret deodorants. Yes, winner, winner. <clears throat> and then we have the bounce sheets. They were $2 with a $3 coupon. You see that coming off, giving me a dollar overage. Two of the Crest 3Ds with $2 coupons, giving me two more dollars in overage. The Airwick refill, excuse me, starter kit. I had a two fifty dollars off that's supposed to come off of that, but I messed up. This is where I messed up, guys. I have two Airwick coupons on my account. And make note of this because this is policy. This is how this works. If you have two coupons on your account and they're for similar items or they will work on the same items, the lowest coupon is going to come off first. Now, on my account, I had a dollar coupon for any Airwick product. Got it? Any. And that dollar coupon will work off the spray on the dollar aisle, only they didn't have any. So I picked up a dollar sixty-five Airwick warmer you was i i was supposed to put that on the red up to the register first i got chatty and did not pay attention i put the warmer up first my second coupon that was 250 was only good on the starter kit or a refill so it would not attach to the other product so I only got a dollar off instead of three fifty off. Big, big difference, guys. 
big enough to make this transaction go from free to I had to pay some money. But, I know despair, okay? We're just going to regroup and we'll return these items and repurchase them. Now, when I'm telling you about the returns, if you void a transaction, the difference between a voided and transaction and a return transaction, if you void the transaction while you're there in the store, your digital coupons will go back on your account. You still have them to use. That's why sometimes it's preferable to void your transaction instead of paying for it and taking it back. Now, if you're not sure if you want to keep that item or not really sure what you're going to do about it, then, of course, take it home. You can always return it and get your money back. And, of course, if that happens, you should be returned your coupon amount as well, unless it was a store coupon. If it was a store coupon, it won't be returned to you. But if it was a manufactured coupon, digital or paper, the amount that you paid plus your coupon amount which should be refunded to you because they still have your coupon and the coupons are considered cash. All right, that being said, like I said, I'll still get my money back. I'll still get my savings when I make this return. So that's not that big a deal. But it did kind of ruin the thrill because you know what a thrill it is, guys, when you get that totally free deal. <laughs> so, as you see, I ended up having to pay for one of the Airwick products and then pay some of the other Airwick. I only got a dollar off of a almost $5 purchase. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I picked up the Healthy Clean Toothbrush and I got another dollar off on Overage. I picked up some finish, dishwasher finish off the dollar aisle. You have a dollar paper coupon that will not attach. It beeps, but it says any finished product, and most cashiers are aware of the finished coupon and will key it in. All I can do is tell you to try it on that one. We also did the Old Spice the sports and you can see the 250 coupon coming off making that only 50 cent and then we got three of the american greeting cards and we only paid three cent for them and our total out of pocket was two dollars and 38 cent for 14 items and a savings of 21.97 well guys and gals i hope that was a deal worth waiting for and well you see it is 20 three dollars twenty four dollars all you need to do is add you one more item for a scenario and it could be paper towels because those paper towels are five dollars you add you a pack of paper towels to this or any five dollar item for that matter and this will be absolutely free on saturday okay so, lessons bees, guys, and we'll talk again soon enough.